In our previous tutorial, I have showed about simple PHP form validation. Now in this video, I will show you that how to show custom error message using PHP. I mean PHP form required. When your users want to submit an empty form, it will generate an error message. Okay. So let's go to see live. First open your jump control panel. Start Apache and MySQLi. Go to your folder directory, jamf docs, my first PHP, edit to it notepad plus plus, open your browser, write localhost slash your folder name, okay. It's our previous contact form, okay. Now, here I will show you how to show a custom message, okay. I mean right side or left side or below, as you wish. First, suppose, just comment out here. just comment out i have comment out our php code okay now here you can see our simple form okay here you can use suppose in your input tag you can see here just write suppose here simple right required okay just simply write here required required it's a HTML validation, okay? It's a simple HTML validation, okay? Now refresh your browser. If you click here submit, you can see please fill out, please fill out this field, okay? This is an HTML message and HTML required. But in this video, I will show you how to show a custom message using PHP as you wish, according to your wish, okay? So just remove this just remove okay and remove comment if you do not check my previous tutorial how to make this form and how to simple form validation please check my previous tutorial you will get the link in my video top right i button click or check video description box okay so anyway here just to remove it we don't want to print okay just i will show you how to generate error message and you can comment out it just here comment out it okay sorry this star will be here okay first here declare some flag variable okay suppose error name equal error email equal error website equal error message equal error gender equal all will be empty okay hero message is not required message will be optional just remove gender error it will be error okay you can write anything as you wish it's not mandatory that you need to write according to my okay you can write anything just declare some flag variable okay that you want to require suppose you i want to require name email website and gender okay also in our form here we can write in our form top of the form here just write take a p tag and here just write P close and here just right star mark is required okay just right you can see star mark is required and suppose we want to mark name here just name star I am just showing you the simple procedure that how to do it okay just star and gender here just star okay refresh you can see star 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 and star i mean star mark is required okay now first in here if dollar underscore server request underscore method equal equal post you can see our form request method is post okay here first write if okay if check the empty value em if empty then just copy this i am just copying and paste it 
for showing you quickly okay if empty dollar underscore post name okay you can see here first field is name our first field is name input type equal to text and name equal to name if our field is empty here i write if empty dollar underscore post name then it will generate error message suppose name is required okay suppose name is required and this value assign into another message here we have declared some flag variable you can see error message suppose i stored this message this flag variable okay else and here write just else if this field is empty then this message will be showed to your users otherwise if our field is not empty i mean dollar underscore post i mean name field is not empty i mean when your users will input something then it will suppose this line just copy and paste it will valid okay it will valid data this valid data okay and here just copy this and paste and here right suppose then our field is email you can see email okay and here write email if empty dollar underscore post email then it will generate error message here just write email is re email is required okay and here will be our flag variable error email okay error email and here will be this email message okay just paste email valid then valid if our email is empty then showing this error message otherwise it will valid data okay our user defined function and then again just copy and here write our third is website and here write website if dollar underscore if empty dollar underscore post website then it will generate a error message okay website is required and here will be our error website flag variable okay otherwise it will valid data okay website here will be website and fourth is our message okay you can see our message it will optional you can see in our form we don't use star mark so it's optional you can write it here or you can not here just write if empty dollar underscore post message it will be empty okay suppose we can write message equal to just blank it okay it will empty or then it will valid data okay yeah just right okay when the message field will be empty i mean this message field will empty it will just empty check okay you can see it will generate no error message you can see if empty dollar underscore post message then message equal to empty else message will be message field input will be valid okay and last is our you can see here gender okay so here just write if empty gender dollar underscore post gender then our flag variable you can see error gender here just write error gender and here set a custom message custom error message something like that okay here will be gender okay gender is required and if the field is fill up then it will valid data i mean data validation okay here will be just this line copy and paste okay gender valid data dollar underscore post gender okay now just remove it 
Now you can see if dollar underscore server request underscore method equal equal post then first if empty dollar underscore post name then generate error message name is required okay and this message will store this flag variable we have declared in first okay if this field is not empty i mean dollar underscore post name field is not empty then it will valid data okay i mean data validation and second as like same if empty email then it will generate a email is required message and store this message into flag okay now just show up this message okay where you want to show suppose this flag variable our all error message is contain this flag variable just print this message suppose first is name suppose here our td is closed and here just write suppose our name here take a php block php and write echo this error message okay and now just copy and our email you can see email input and here just write echo error here will be our error email okay email message you can see email error email and now just again copy and our website here will be our error website this flag variable okay you can see error flag variable and now again copy message is our optional and gender is required here just female here just write here will be our this flag variable error gender okay just error gender and now refresh your browser okay first you can see here you can see name is required email is required and website is required okay all error messages in one line okay you can see anyway just check here you can see we have write this php block outside the td okay td is equal to name and second td our input tag okay it will just write the here if i want to generate this custom message right side okay this field and right side here if you want to generate here just write between the td tag okay here you can see td input type and close here okay just cut and here just paste okay between the td you can see input here input is closed and then your php block and just cut and here just paste okay our gender is okay you can see gender is okay now refresh it's a silly mistake you can see just refresh you can see star mark is required okay now submit you can see name is required email is required website is required you can set any custom message as you wish you can see okay i have write website is required okay you can set any custom message okay so i hope you can do it you can see if i write here suppose this name and submit you can see here is not generate any error message but email website and gender here you can see generate a error message but if i write here suppose you can see here is no error message but here error message okay you can see so i hope you understand it's a very simple in future you will get a lot about it okay so thank you practice it